Hello everyone, welcome to this special edition of the DGA News dedicated to the International Air Show. I am Romain, journalist, and in this format I will accompany you throughout the Paris Air Show to present innovations and news not to be missed. Today, major advances are presented on the F-4 Marine and F-5R Rafales, especially with the presentation of the UQAV Stealth Combat Drone. Before that, let's start with an overview with Emmanuel, who will be General Delegate for Armaments. Mr. General Delegate for Armaments, hello. Good morning. This Paris Air Show is initiating within a distinctive context. What challenges does the edition of 2025 present? So the context, it is obvious, everyone realizes it today. New threats, an extremely unstable geopolitical context, very high intensity military operations, and at the same time, the fact of having to rearm, rearm. France will also rearm Europe in the face of these new threats, but also in the face of the possibility of disengagement of some of our partners. So we have to pivot, we have to move, and we are moving in all the components, whether it is solar defense, whether it is combat aviation, which we will continue to ensure the relevance of, and uh, obviously other areas such as space. From surface to space, this is the main theme of this 2025 edition. Concretely, what does this mean for the DGA, for the forces and industrialists? Well, it is important to show today that we have a real continuum, finally, between ground defense and ground air defense. And you have a number of equipment that's on display here, combat aviation. You also have equipment that is presented, the helicopters, the hill, the cheetah, with a version besides that is capable of dialogue with drones. Uh, the Rafale in its standard F-5 to the Air Force, its standard F-4 Navy, and then a certain number of things that we have never shown. Uh, in fact, the tanks of the new generation of bombs, which are bombs A2SM, but with a booster, which ultimately makes it possible to increase the range of these weapons. This allows us to remain credible. And then the space, the space obviously which is presented inside the pavilion of the Ministry of the Armed Forces. In space, you will find both the very high altitude, that is to say this continues even between endoatmospheric and exoatmospheric space. The reuse of balloons is also something extremely new. And then behind everything that is action in space, surveillance in space, surveillance in space from space or from Earth, where there you have a number of programs that are presented uh, from space conveyors, nanosatellites that will serve as bodyguards for our heritage satellites, and finally, this whole ecosystem, which is constituted by complementarity between what is called new space and then the more traditional players who are either capable of making our large geostationary satellites. Why is it so important to be present at this Paris Air Show for the Ministry of the Armed Forces and for the DGA? Well, the DGA is really the LE, the anchor point, ultimately, between industry and then the armed forces. So, as you know, we design ourselves. We discuss with the forces, we refine the need, we work with manufacturers, and we are therefore experimenting with approximately 18 test sites in France. It's important to be there. This obviously allows us to, to promote cooperation, to also find new contracts, but also to be present in terms of research and development and to be able to show all the technological excellence that is necessary for our export. And you know that exports are necessary for France's economic model in terms of defense. Thank you, Mr. General Delegate. I'd love to. Let's take a closer look at the innovations around one of the great stars of the Paris Air Show, the Rafale, and you will see it came accompanied. The next generation of Rafale is the F-5. It will ensure air superiority over the next decade. It is presented on the stand of the Ministry of the Armed Forces alongside the UQAV. The F-5 standard includes a new radar which makes it possible to obtain an enlarged gate. It is also embedded in its frontal sector optics a new sensor, the Silent Killer, which makes it possible to detect stealthy targets in infrared at very long distances. The Rafale will be able to rely on a new cab, which is a stealth platform equipped with a cargo hold that will make it possible to approach as close as possible to threats without being detected, to neutralize them or to provide the Rafale with the necessary coordinates to neutralize them. The Rafale F-5 will also contribute to the renewal of the airborne nuclear component with the integration of the SN-4G missile. The aircraft also has improvements on its operability. Compliant tanks located on the dorsal of the aircraft reducing drag. A new engine increasing from 7 tons to 5 tons of thrust. And among other things, air ground disarmament of greater range. Also present on the stand of the Ministry of the Armed Forces, the Rafale F-4 is in its marine version. 
So the Rafale Marine has certain peculiarities compared to its cousin, which is operated by the Air Force in space. The Rafale Marine is easily recognizable by its front landing gear, which is enormously reinforced by that of an airplane to be able to withstand catapulting maneuvers. Also, a crossbar at the rear is present to be able to allow landing. The Rafale F-4 Marine is already operational. The standard F-5 will be deployed by 2030. The DGA News is coming to an end. We'll see you tomorrow for another special edition. The theme is to know your environment.